Alright, what's good, fam? We back at it with another video, man. And uh, shout out to Rose Gold. We're going to be reacting to some Nowsy Niles videos. I haven't reacted to none of his joints. I do have a video that I wanted to react to about the paycheck. I'm going to be reacting to that next. So y'all look out for that. Um, When your barber dies without cutting your hair for damn. Uh... <laughs> Let's just straight into this, man. Let's get it. Is that an old head, dude? Okay, man. First and foremost, I want to say <clears throat> condolences to the friends and family of, uh, of Adrian. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thank y'all for just allowing me to speak as... as he looked comfortable. You know, it's just a client. Don't know me. Like that. Thank you for coming. Like that. Let them know about my yeah, ass, man. That's okay. That's okay. That's all right. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Adrian was a good dude. Yeah, that was good. That was too. Too. He was a good man, man. Outside of cutting hair. Outside of just. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Man, like what he did for his friends and family. Yes, sir. He give you the share off his back. What he did for his family, the way he was there for his kids. Yeah, he did so much for us. Yes, he did. Let him know. Yes, he did. Father of the Year award. Let him know. Let him know. That's okay to cry. What he did for his community. All of the field days, all of the toy drives, food drives for the yes, homeless. Sir. Yes, sir. Man, he was giving haircuts to the homeless for over a decade now, every weekend. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He ain't had to do that. He was a good man outside of cutting hair. But when it come to cutting hair, man, when it come to cutting hair, Adrian had a gift from God with them hands. Not only was he a good man, I'm going to tell you what else he was. He was a selfish man. <laughs> you going to get killed. Knowing you got clients, dog. Oh, no, oh, oh, yo. <laughs> they about to bust your ass. Nah, don't, don't, nah, you nah, for real. He was selfish. <laughs> like, come on, dog. It's one thing to not be there for your kids <laughs> and your family. But as a barber, how you not going to be there for your clients, dog? What we supposed to do? Yo. <laughs> I'm supposed to walk around looking like this? Yeah. <laughs> First of all, you shut up and mind your business. Damn. I had my haircut scheduled three weeks in advance. He knew this. I got a flight in the morning. Who am I supposed to call? Who am I supposed to call, Adrian? Who am I going to get last minute to cut my hair, dog? That was your job. You don't understand your responsibility? Like, what's wrong with you, dog? Hey, what's wrong yo. with you? <laughs> yo. He, yo. <laughs> Come on, bro. Look at me. My girl not even looking at me the same. I gotta go home looking like this. Yo. God damn it. I lost my job. They didn't even recognize me. They was about to send security to put me out because that's how dusty I'm looking. You gonna leave me like this? <laughs> and the thing is, it ain't just me. It's not just me that's struggling. All of his clients, we all gotta go through this. Who we gonna go to? Hey, come on. Now nah, you wouldn't understand because you walk around looking like that, and you okay with walking around looking like that. <laughs> Some of us care about the way we look, dog. I don't care if you his uncle. I'm just being honest. You don't give a f about how you look, but I do. He knew that. Dog, I swear to God, I never knew how selfish he was, man. If I would have knew that, I'd take back every dollar I would have gave him. I'd take back every single dollar I would have gave you, dog. Every single dollar I would have gave you, dog. I would have took that back today. Again, I want to say, uh, 
condolences to the family, to the friends, to me, these other fellow clients. Uh, rest in peace. Uh, Wait a bit, Bob. You deserved it for what you did, dog. You selfish. Yo. You don't think about nobody but yourself. You want to go out, you want to party, do your thing, dog. I'll find another bar, but I'm going to find another bar shop. Thank y'all for just allowing me to come speak. Uh, yeah. Oh, bro. Nigga. Oh, Mind nigga. your business. You quadruple, double, tripled up. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, no. We'd have been boxing in that motherfucker. You smacked him and then you spit on him. Oh, man. And that's a black funeral. How dare y'all just let him do some shit like that? I know it's a skit, but yeah. <laughs> but yo, I'm just thinking too, right? I believe that some a lot of funerals need to have some people because you know they got some trifling ass people like they got some people in there like oh she was such a saint she was such a saint no one damn well or he was such a saint no one damn well they wasn't where's those people that oh he was a trifling ass motherfucker like oh what you mean like matter of fact if y'all ever watched that show the last og and tracy morgan checked the hell out of tiffany had his family that's how it should be. Tell the truth out here, y'all. <laughs> Cat Williams it up. You know? But, yo, this was funny, though, Rose Gold. <laughs> we done, we done jumped his ass at that funeral. <laughs> Boy, he done caught all kinds of elbow, feet, knees, hands, and head butts up in that bitch. I'm telling you. Yeah, you can't fight in church. That's a damn lie. That's a lie. We in God's house, but God gave us these hands. You know what I'm saying? Toby Nwigwe said to try Jesus, not me, because I throw hands. You know what I'm saying? I throw these two. But yeah, man, <laughs> this was funny though, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Shout out to Nazi Niles, man, for this one. Shout out to Rose Gold for this one as well. And uh, yeah, man, if y'all like this, man. Smash the like button for your boy. Comment down below what y'all thought. Share the video and subscribe to the channel for your boy. I will be reacting to more of his videos, man. All right? Peace, love, blessings. See you on the next one. We out this. Peace.